Butterly Display Team Flying Boeing Stearman PT-17 Biplanes at an English Air Show and Air Show, is a public event where aircraft are exhibited. They often include aerobatics demonstrations, without they are called static air shows with aircraft parked on the ground. The largest air show measured by number of exhibitors and size of exhibit space is Le Bourget followed by Farnborough, while Dubai Air Show and Singapore Air Show are both claiming the third place. The largest air show or flying by number of participating airplanes is IA Air Venture Oshkosh, commonly known as Oshkosh after its location in Wisconsin, with approximately 10,000 airplanes participating each year. The biggest military air show in the world is the Royal International Air Tattoo, at RAF Fairford in England. A month after Blériot's crossing of the English Channel the Aviation Week in Reims, France, August 1909, caught special worldwide attention. Some air shows are held as a business venture or as a trade event where aircraft, avionics and other services are promoted to potential customers. Many air shows are held in support of local, national or military charities. Military air firms often organize air shows at military airfields as a public relations exercise to thank the local community, promote military careers and raise the profile of the military. Aviation Nation 2006 at Nellis Air Force Base, United States air seasons vary around the world. The United States enjoys a long season that generally runs from March to November, covering the spring, summer, and fall seasons. Other countries often have much shorter seasons. In Japan air shows are generally events held at Japan Self-Defense Forces bases regularly throughout the year. The European season usually starts in late April or early May and is usually over by mid-October. The Middle East, Australia and New Zealand hold their events between January and March. However, for many acts, the off-season does not mean a period of inactivity, pilots and performers use this time for maintenance and practice. The Petrui Suisse performing at the Ile Berlin Air show the type of display scene at shows are constrained by a number of factors, including the weather and visibility. Most aviation authorities now publish rules and guidance on minimum display heights and criteria for differing conditions. In addition to the weather, pilots and organizers must also consider local airspace restrictions. Most exhibitors will plan full, rolling and flat display for varying weather and airspace conditions. The types of shows vary greatly. Some are large-scale military events with large flying displays and ground exhibitions while others held at small local airstrips can often feature just one or two hours of flying with just a few stalls on the ground. Air displays can be held during day or night with the latter becoming increasingly popular. Shows don't always take place over airfields. Some have been held over the grounds of stately homes or castles and over the sea at coastal resorts. The first public international air show, at which many types of aircraft were displayed and flown, was the Grand Semaine d'Aviation de la Champagne, which was held August 22-29, 1909 in Reims. This had been preceded by what may have been the first ever gathering of enthusiasts, June 28 to July 19 of the same year at the airfield at La Brielle, near Douai. Air racing at an air show in England, the Red Bull Air Race heat held at Kemble Airfield, Gloucestershire. The aircraft fly singly, and pass between pairs of pylons before the Second World War. Air shows were associated with long-distance air races, often lasting many days and covering thousands of miles. While the Reno air races keep this tradition alive, most air shows today primarily feature a series of aerial demos of short duration. Most air shows feature warbirds, aerobatics, and demonstrations of modern military aircraft, and many air shows offer a variety of other aeronautical attractions as well. Such as wing-walking, radio-controlled aircraft, water slash slurry drops from firefighting aircraft, simulated helicopter rescues and skydiving. Specialist aerobatic aircraft have powerful piston engines, lightweight and big control surfaces, making them capable of very high roll rates and accelerations. A skilled pilot will be able to climb vertically, perform very tight turns, tumble his aircraft end over end and perform maneuvers during loops. Larger airshows can be headlined by military jet demonstration teams. In the United States, those are the U.S. Navy Blue Angels and U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. The Canadian Forces Snowbirds will headline many air shows in Canada and the United States. Many air shows in the United Kingdom are headlined by the RAF's Red Arrows. RAF F-111 performing a dump and burn fuel dump at the Australian International Air Show Solo Military Jet Demos, also known as Tactical Demo, feature one aircraft, usually a strike fighter or an advanced trainer. 
the demonstration focuses on the capabilities of modern aircraft used in combat operations. The display will usually demonstrate the aircraft's very short rolls, fast speeds, slow approach speeds, as well as their ability to quickly make tight turns. To climb quickly, and their ability to be precisely controlled at a large range of speeds. Maneuvers include aileron rolls, barrel rolls, hesitation rolls, Cuban 8s, tight turns, high alpha flight, a high speed pass, double emelmans, and touch and goes. Tactical demos may include simulated bomb drops, sometimes with pyrotechnics on the ground for effect. Aircraft with special characteristics that give them unique capabilities will often display those in their demos. For example, Russian fighters with thrust vectoring may be used to perform Pugachev's Cobra or the Culbit. Among other difficult maneuvers that cannot be performed by other aircraft. Similarly, an F-22 pilot may hover his jet in the air with the nose pointed straight up, a Harrier or Osprey pilot may perform a vertical landing or vertical takeoff, and so on. Mountain Home Air Force Base Idaho, September 14, 2003, U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds Captain Christopher Strickland ejecting from his F-16 after realizing he could not pull up in time from a split S and ensuring the aircraft would not crash into spectators. The aircraft was destroyed less than a second later with no loss of life. Air shows may present some risk to spectators and aviators. Accidents have occurred, sometimes with a large loss of life, such as the 1988 disaster at Ramstein Air Base in Germany and the 2002 air show crash at Skyliv, Ukraine. Because of these accidents, the various aviation authorities around the world have set rules and guidance for those running and participating in air displays. For example, after the breakup of an aircraft at 1952 Farnborough Air Show, the separation between display and spectators was increased. Air displays are often monitored by aviation authorities to ensure safe procedures. In the United Kingdom, local authorities will first need to approve any application for an event to which the public is admitted. No approval, no event. The first priority must be to arrange insurance cover and details can be obtained from your local authority. An added complication is a whole new raft of legislation concerning health and safety in particular corporate manslaughter, which can involve the event. Organizer being charged with a criminal offense if any of the insurances and risk assessments are not fully completed well in advance of the event. If this very basic step isn't completed then any further activity should be halted until it is. Rules govern the distance from the crowds that aircraft must fly. These vary according to the rating of the pilot slash crew, the type of aircraft and the way the aircraft is being flown. For instance, slower lighter aircraft are usually allowed closer and lower to the crowd than larger, faster types. Also, a fighter jet flying straight and level will be able to do so closer to the crowd and lower than if it were performing a roll or a loop. Pilots can get authorizations for differing types of displays and to differing minimum base heights above the ground. To gain such authorizations, the pilots will have to demonstrate to an examiner that they can perform to those limits without endangering themselves, ground crew or spectators. Despite display rules and guidances, accidents have continued to happen. However, air show accidents are rare and where there is proper supervision air shows have impressive safety records. Each year, Organizations such as International Council of Air Shows and European Air Show Council meet and discuss various subjects including air show safety where accidents are discussed and lessons learned. Thanks for watching.